up everybody what the f is going on welcome back to cooking with bird martinez the one the only bird martinez bitch say that for the bitches in the back all the bitches in the back all puta sucias in the way back how does that sound sofia it sounds excellent it does though like i was trying to like not curse because i was scared well first 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 let's introduce La señorita bonita. I really want it now. No, mommy. I'm not a señorita. I'm a bebé. Oh, la bebecita. La, mi sofillita, la tortillita is here. And I'm so happy that she's like growing up. Can you guys believe it? You guys saw this little girl literally growing up. Estaba aquí toda chaparrita. Eating a what? Eating a taco, making faces. Being crazy with Halloween, with the makeup, everybody like, almost everybody judging you. <laughs> and look at you, like, people are saying like, oh, then let the little girl wear makeup. Pero mira la, toda secure, so modest, so modest, modest. Well, yeah, you look modest, but you're not modest. <laughs> Ahí anda con su pinche Stanley cup. She has a badass Stanley cup. She wears like nice makeup. She know, I think because she wore so much crap as a little girl, she turned modest. And now she's like, como se dice, conservative y se porta bien. I mean, she's, we get into it sometimes. If you didn't know, Sofia is 12 years old. Yeah. And she is in sixth grade. And she is doing amazing. Why are amazing. Looking, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> look at them. Mira, look at all the people right there. Mira ese pinche gordo que diondo. <laughs> Esa girl, she's not wearing any underwear. That guy's way too skinny. That, that's what me and Sofia love to do. We love to like go judge. To, go to places and be like, ah, pinche vieja puta, mirala. Mira, she swears like she fits in those pants. And I'm like, he's too cute for her. I wonder how she got it. Like, we're so judgmental. And don't act like we're the only ones. Because we're all like that. So anyways, we have the one. The only. Sofia La Tortilla. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? Bien, ¿cómo estás tú? Bien, ¿cómo están los hijos? No, oh, sí, hijos. Sí, hijos. No tienes hijos. Hijos de ti, human hijos. Hijos human. ¿Tienes hijos human? No. ¿Y por qué no hijos? No sé. Porque no te lavas el culo. <laughs> no, no, ahora, she's not going to say que no se lava el culo. But anyways, Sofía has three children of her yes. own. First of all, we have Gato. Gato. Gato, we got him when he was a little baby. We got him from the shelter. That he was, was abandoned by his mom. Yeah, it was like a but like five of the little dogs, and he his mom abandoned. I don't know who the fuck abandoned him. We don't want to talk about his mama. We don't know nothing about his mama. But I estaba, and me and Mario were waiting, and boop, he comes in, and we're like, that's ours. Mm -hmm. Maske, he grew up. I think because he grew up alone, huh? Yeah, he did. He grew up alone, todo men, so like, ugh, I don't know. And second of all, we have... Benita. Benita. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Of course, Sofia is going to love Benita the most because it's a cat. It's a stanking cat. Me and Benita beef it all the time because I know her true self. <laughs> I can see between those lines. I'm like, mm, you ain't Benita. You Benito, bitch. <laughs> so, Benita, it was like a house, right? Yeah. It was like a house and they wanted a cat. And was that the last cat? Yes, uh, the last cat. It was the last cat, and he vienen con un pinche orange cat. And according to motherfucking science, orange cats are what? The most craziest. Loco. Yeah, pinche. No, she is crazy. Like, the other day she wanted to slap me. I was just chilling. And the bitch passed by and wanted to slap me. And I slapped her once, right? Why did I slap her? I'm not sure why. She was attacking Sofia. I'm, and Sofia dyed her orange to be like <laughs> her damn kids. And third of all, banalis, drum roll please. We have Pesito. Pesito, Mr. Mexican Pesito. He was living in Tijuana in a restaurant in a box. And the first time we went, we saw him and we're like, oh my gosh, my gosh, what how do we how do we get him from the US from the Tijuana to the US and the next time? Oh, because we went with um Sofia's grandparents and we wanted to take him back. Huh? Yeah. But they're like, no. They're gonna take the truck. Yeah. They're like, they're gonna take, you know how Mexicans be, they're like, no, you can't cross the border with a damn dog, because they're gonna take the truck away from you, and they're gonna send you back to Mexico, <laughs> and they're gonna send you to the rancho, <laughs> and we're like, the fuck, we're not illegal, you know? But isn't it funny how your dad gets all scared? Yeah. Like, we're crossing the border, and Mario literally gets scared, like. He's, 
He speaks Spanish out of nowhere. It, it makes no sense. He starts looking like Benito Juarez, bro. Like, he's just like... I'm a new I don't know why the mentality, bro, but he got scared. I was just chilling. I'm like, I'm an American. The fuck? Like, you can tell. Look at these green eyes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this blonde hair. So, anyways, we crossed the border with him. And he became a illegal immigrant in America because he don't got no pa he don't got papers yet. But when we were crossing the border, we get, did get some illegal papers, right? We did we got got those <laughs> papers from the shelter, and we replaced them with Peso's name. So those are her three children. Yes, and they all have different personalities, but they're fucking crazy, and they leave hair everywhere, and they uh, they're annoying, but. They're very loving, and when they calm down and they chill with us, it feels like a complete family. And Sofia loves animals more than people. Yes, that is true. So Sofia wants to be a veterinarian. A veterinarian. A veterinarian when she grows up. And she's already working on it. Like, I, at 12 years old, I was, like, thinking about my first hair in my armpit. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, I was going to say my first vagina hair. <laughs> but then Sophia's going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. You know how Sophia gets uncomfortable. But anyways, today we are going to talk about Texas. We love you, Texas. Dallas, Texas is so fucking cool. So, so cool. Sorry, I forgot that I can't curse. So is Houston. Yeah, Houston was awesome. San Antonio. I wish I could go back. But I need to make more YouTube videos so you guys could find out what I'm going to do. Scooby Doo Doo. So more the more videos i make the more my thing grows so you guys want to share it i never asked to share it but we need to grow we, we need, need to grow we need to get out of bakersfield you know what i'm saying so just, i don't want to i don't want to raise my kids here in bakersfield <laughs> it's the cray cray i'm gonna process to myself i'm gonna be like oh my god almost a panza bro so i had two belly buttons look that's my first belly button what's my other one my two belly buttons and then here's your third one and my third i have three belly buttons <laughs> No, but seriously, the schools here in Bakersfield are so bad. They're so bad. Uh, they're, like, fighting. Even in the mall, there's, like, a, a police officer with a dog because there has been so many incidents. So, I'm not saying that everywhere else there's no crime, but I just wanted my kids to be safer. So, we got to work, work, work. got to work. Tenemos que echarle ganas porque en esta vida, boop. But I feel better. I feel blessed. I got Sofia by my side. I got Mandy by my side. She applied for 12 colleges. Little Mario's like learning how to read three letter words, but it's something, you know. I thought he was gonna, never gonna learn how to read. Did you think he was gonna learn how to read? I did. Lo siento, no seas mentirosa. <laughs> but, anyways, we're gonna show you the video from Texas, and I hope you guys like it. And Sofia is gonna be in my videos because she's that girl, and no more cursing, so my videos could get monetized. Yes. And since Sofia knows how to replace my words when I can't talk, when I forget how to talk. Peace. No, no. one, two, three. What's up, everybody? What the is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one. The only. Bird Martinez, bitch. Say that for the bitches in the back. All the bitches in the back. All puta sucias in the way back. How does that sound, Sofia? It sounds excellent. Excellent. It does though. Like I was trying to like not curse. Porque sabes que. Well, first, first, first. Let's introduce la señorita bonita. I really want it now. No, mommy. I'm not a señorita. I'm a bebé. Oh, la bebecita, la mi sofillita, la tortillita is here, and I'm so happy that she's like growing up. Can you guys believe it? You guys saw this little girl literally growing up. Estaba aquí toda chaparrita. <laughs> Eating a what? Eating a taco, making faces, being crazy with Halloween, with the makeup, everybody like almost everybody judging you. <laughs> and look at you. Like, people are saying, like, oh, then let the little girl wear makeup. Pero mira la. Toda secure. So modest. So modest. Modest? Well, yeah, you look modest. But you're not modest. <laughs> I end up con su pinche Stanley Cup. She has a badass Stanley Cup. She wears like nice makeup, you know. I think because she wore so much crap as a little girl, she turned modest. And now she's like, como se dice, conservative y se porta bien. I mean, she's, we get into it sometimes. If you didn't know, Sofia is 12 years old. Yeah. And she is in sixth grade. 
and she is doing amazing. Why amazing. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> look at them. Mira, look at all the people right there. Mira ese pinche gordo que dio no. Esa girl, she's not wearing any underwear. That guy's way too skinny. That, that's what me and Sofia love to do. We love to like go, Judge. To, go to places and be like, ah, pinche vieja puta, mirala. Mira, she swears like she fits in those pants. And I'm like, he's too cute for her. I wonder how she got it. Like, we're so judgmental. And don't act like we're the only ones because we're all like that. So anyways, we have the one, the only, Sofia La Tortilla. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? Bien, ¿cómo estás tú? Bien, ¿cómo están los hijos? No, oh, sí, hijos. Sí, hijos, no tienes hijos, hijos de ti, human hijos, hijos human. ¿Tienes hijos human? No. ¿Y por qué no hijos? No sé. Porque no te lavas el culo. <laughs> no, no, ahora, she's not going to say que no se lava el culo. But anyways, Sofia has three children of her yes. own. First of all, we have Gato. Gato. Gato, we got him when he was a little baby. We got him from the shelter. That he we, was abandoned by his mom. Yeah, it was like a but like five of the little dogs and he his mom abandoned. I don't know who the fuck abandoned him. We don't want to talk about his mama. We don't know nothing about his mama. But I estaba. And me and Mario were waiting and boop, he comes in and we're like, that's ours. Mm -hmm. Maske, he grew up. I think because he grew up alone, huh? Yeah, he did. He grew up alone, so like, ugh, I don't know. And second of all, we have Benita. Benita, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Of course, Sofia is going to love Benita the most because it's a cat. It's a stinking cat. Me and Benita beef it all the time because I know her true self. <laughs> I can see between those lines. I'm like, mm, you ain't Benita, you Benito, bitch. <laughs> so, Benita, it was like a house, right? Yeah. It was like a house and... They wanted a cat, and was that the last cat? Yes, uh, the last cat. It was the last cat, and he vienen con un pinche orange cat. And according to motherfucking science, orange cats are what? The most craziest, loco. Yeah, pinche, no, she is crazy. Like, the other day she wanted to slap me. I was just chilling, and the bitch passed by and wanted to slap me. And I slapped her once, right? Why did I slap her? I'm not sure why. She was attacking Sofia. I'm, and Sofia dyed her orange to be like <laughs> her damn kids. And third of all, Banalis, drumroll please. We have... Pesito. Pesito. Mr. Mexican Pesito. He was living in Tijuana. In a restaurant. In a box. And the first time we went, we saw him and we're like, oh my gosh, my gosh, what, how, do we, how do we get him from the U.S.? From the... Tijuana to the U.S. and the next time, oh, because we went with um, Sofia's grandparents and we wanted to take him, huh? Yeah. But they're like, no. They're going to take a truck. Yeah. They're like, they're going to take, you know how Mexicans be, they're like, no, you can't cross the border with a damn dog because they're going to take the truck away from you and they're going to send you back to Mexico <laughs> and they're going to send you to the rancho. <laughs> and we're like, the fuck, we're not illegal, you know? But isn't it funny how your dad gets all scared? Yeah. Like, we're crossing the border, and Mario literally gets scared. Like, he's, he speaks Spanish out of nowhere. It, it makes no sense. He starts looking like Benito Juarez, bro. Like, he's just like, I'm a new I don't know why the mentality, bro, but he got scared. I was just chilling. I'm like, I'm an American. Fuck, like, you can tell. Look at these green eyes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this blonde hair. So, anyways, we crossed the border with him, and he became... Uh, illegal immigrant in America because he don't got no pa he don't got papers yet. But when we were crossing the border, we get, did get some illegal papers, right? We did we got got those <laughs> papers from the shelter, and we replaced them with Peso's name. So those are her three children. Yes, and they all have different personalities, but they're fucking crazy, and they leave hair everywhere, and they uh, they're annoying, but. They're very loving, and when they calm down and they chill with us, it feels like a complete family. And Sofia loves animals more than people. Yes, that is true. So Sofia wants to be a veterinarian. A veterinarian. A veterinarian when she grows up. And she's already working on it. Like, I, at 12 years old, I was, like, thinking about my first hair in my armpit. Like, what? Yeah, and I was thinking, I was going to say my first vagina hair. <laughs> but then Sophia was going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. You know how Sophia gets uncomfortable. But anyways, today we are going to talk about Texas. We love you, Texas. Dallas, Texas is so fucking cool. So boop, cool. Sorry, I forgot that I can't curse. So was Houston. Yeah, Houston was awesome. San Antonio. I wish I could go back. 
but I need to make more YouTube videos so you guys could find out what I'm gonna do, Scooby Doo do. So more the more videos I make, the more my thing grows. So you guys wanna share it? I never asked to share it, but we need to grow. We, we need to grow. We need to get out of Bakersfield. You know what I'm saying? So just, I don't wanna I don't wanna raise <laughs> my kids here in Bakersfield. It's the cray cray. I'm gonna process to myself. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, you know, almost I mean panza, bro. So I'm gonna have two belly buttons. Look, that's my first belly button. What's my other one? My two belly buttons. And then here's your third one. And my third I have three belly buttons. <laughs> no, but seriously, the schools here in Bakersfield are so bad. They're so bad. Uh, they're like fighting even in the mall there's like a, a police officer with a dog because there has been so many incidents so i'm not saying that everywhere else there's no crime but i just wanted my kids to be safer so we gotta work 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 we gotta work tenemos que echarle ganas porque en esta vida boop. but i feel better i feel blessed i got sofia by my side i got mandy by my side she applied for 12 colleges little mario's like learning how to read three letter words, but it's something, you know. I thought he was gonna, never gonna learn how to read. Did you think he was gonna learn how to read? I did. No cierto, no seas <laughs> mentirosa. But anyways, we're gonna show you the video from Texas and I hope you guys like it. And Sofia is gonna be in my videos because she's that girl and no more cursing. So my videos could get monetized. Yes. And then Sofia knows how to replace my words when I can't talk, when I forget. Nuts? Nuts, yes, bro. I think so. Pigeons? The pi those, those animals are right there, the pigeons? They eat everything. Come on, please. Maybe take I saw the crew. Tanto was like, oh. Bitch, so let's get this beat started. This motherfucker started. I've been seeing my YouTube. So as you can see, Mandy already wanted, already wanted to come back home. Because she was like, Mom, I'm missing too much school. So we ended up in this park because I Googled it. My real ass bitches of the world. This girl right here with a mira que chulada shirt. Man, I spent so long talking to her, man. We have, like, como se dice, historias. This bitch right here. This bitch right here and her husband, they stayed till the end. And we had, like, the little thingy that we had to return back to Walmart. And these motherfuckers were like friends. They're like, yeah, whenever you come back to Arizona. My motherfucking Native Americans were there too. Man, you bitches from Arizona come out. My motherfucking Bird Martinez disque signature. I know it's taken a couple of months for me. Okay, so the story behind this. See, I can't just stay in subject. The story behind that picture was when I got stabbed. Como se dice, the girl said that she put like a little thing with a candle. And she was praying for me so hard. And that she promised that if she got to see me again, she was going to give it to me in person. So she gave it to me in person. And I was like, my bitch. So as you can see, Sofia is um, Ever since my injury, Sofia has changed so much. Es una hija de su pinche madre, bro. Like, Mandy was so calm and so... Y luego la hija de su perra madre, la Sofia... So when we got to Dallas, we were already tired. We we're like, fuck this, but we have to go to my cousin's wedding. And when we got to the gasoline station, there was like a bunch of birds. I don't know why, but those pinches birds were ready for us. And we went to some building in Dallas. And you know, my, well, the, the, como se llama, la bride, she's from Guanajuato. My cousin's wife, her name is Yasmin. She was there when everything happened with me when I got stabbed. She helped us out. And, you know, even though she was in Texas, I was over there in the fucking hospital. She helped out so much. And my cousin Fernando, he is from Michoacan. So they did it like Stilo Michoacan, man. Motherfuckers, I thought some like politicians were getting married because these motherfuckers went, went all out. I was like, I never been to a fancy wedding. And there was my ghetto ass trying to dance. And I was like, what am I doing? I look so weird. But my beautiful Mandy was having fun. It was cute to see her dance again. Because, you know, we don't really go out to a lot of parties. I mean, we go crazy between each other. For us, it's a party every fucking Friday. But a little chiqueado as Mario was covering his ears. The food was bomb. They had all kinds of shit. So that's Yasmin. Her wedding was all fancy, dude. I never seen shit like that. She had, like, photographers and fucking, like, special... Oh, they even brought out sopas de camarón. Sopas de camarón is, like, cup of noodles or whatever. 
And let me tell you something about downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas is motherfucking beautiful. And shout out to my Sofia, la motherfucking tortilla. Hija de su chingada madre. She has a mouth, but she has the golden, the diamond hands. That little girl um, helped me out on my tia. We stayed at my tia Carmen's house. We always do. And there's my remix salsa. My remix to the remix to the remix mix mix salsa. Este, Sofia was helping me out so much. So we went to the meet and greet in Dallas. This bitch right here, she's from TikTok and her, her friend. They were loud as hell. They're like, why didn't you bring other bitch, bitch, bitch shirts? Oh, this right here is such a cute family. I know I lost some clips or whatever. Not a lot of people showed up, but I don't really care. As long as some people showed up, I was happy. They brought me flowers. My cousin and Rojo went. My family was there. And you know, Sofia has family in Texas. Those are her primitas from Dallas. And I thought it was cute. We went to some fucking park where they have a bunch of food trucks and shit. It was crazy. Then we went to do laundry because we needed to wash clothes because we're some dirty, musty, crusty ass people. And there you go. I was just happy to go back to a laundry mat because I haven't gone since I was a little girl. Because, you know, um, Mario's mom had a laundry. ¿Cómo se llama? Tenía laundry things. Anyways, so then we headed out to Houston and we could take a breather. We ended up at my friend's Michelle's house. You know, from last time, funny story, we met through YouTube, literally through YouTube. Like, it was a comment through YouTube and then on Snapchat. And then I, w I told her we were going to, I was going to go to um, Texas last time, last, last, like the first time we did a meet and greet. And she invited me to her home. I remember the first time, the first night we slept there. So she had two rooms. She has a badass fucking house. She has badass fucking dogs. She has badass fucking family. Like, I think last time when I went to Texas, if I could live in any city, it would have been Houston. But then this time, I think Dallas. Dallas blew up or had a glow up, a big ass glow up. Anyways, so the first night that we stayed at her house, <laughs> we all stayed like in the same bed because we're like because the kids they're like what are their killers and i'm like they're fucking cool but you know the kids they've always been medios mamones but anyways so they took us to the sunrise in houston ¿Cómo se llama? but this is where she grew up and i didn't even know oh and this is her sister and her best friend and it was so cool anyways i don't know why this is here this is a clip from when we went to downtown la dallas and I was just so grateful that she invited me and she got to show me where, like, her parents lived and stuff like that. Like, you know, that's the shit that I like. Y pinche Sofia. This is what I miss. Because Sofia, like, miss, like, a big gap of her childhood. There's another clip of fucking Dallas. Um, I feel like she missed a big part of her childhood because, you know, she, like, grew up too fast. Y por eso está toda amargada luego a veces. Maybe she's going to come over. Anyways, this is motherfucking Houston. Ooh, ooh. So we did the meet and greet at a park. This guy, this guy right here was hilarious. He's like, I came to see Mario. I didn't came to see you. I was like, okay, Mr. Chorizo lover. It was so cool. I think he was an engineer. And this girl right here, doesn't she look like a teenager? You could put pause. She looks like a teenager, but she has a whole ass teenager. So last time that... I did the meet and greet. She came with her daughter. And she's actually the, um, the fucking front picture of it. Anyways, this little girl was like, this fucking borracha, what, what is she holding? I loved all of, all of you guys, the ones that got to come through. Because I think, you know, she's like, who the fuck is you, bitch? No, pero honestly, I'm so sorry that I haven't been uploading. I've been a little weird. It's so much shit going on. You guys don't even understand. So my mom... I got really skinny again because um, my sis my sister came out. My sister Angelica, which is not a big deal. But then she flew in her fucking girlfriend from Arizona and fucking, ¿cómo se llama? And stayed with her in a hotel. 
my mom has been helping anyways i'll tell you guys later about this let me tell you about this bitch right here this bitch right here was a whole ass vibe that's why i need to get back to making my cooking videos i could tell you guys a whole motherfucking cheese mate i got cheese mate for days motherfuckers this bitch right here brought some modelos she was like h town to the motherfucking brown let's down that motherfucker right there no for real if i could like pick some friends this bitch would be one of my friends and the other bitch from arizona because this girl you can't even tell she's been through some shit she's been through some you know como enfermedades and you guys are gonna believe these motherfuckers right here so they went to go see me at the meet and greet over there in houston then i went to fucking universal studios not that long ago and guess what guess who i saw getting when i was getting out of the bathroom them what are the motherfucking numbers and coincidences and math magicians about that shit? Like, seriously. Like, life works in strange ways. Anyways, little Mario had her little friend right there. Aw, I mean, little Mario. This lady right here, she was so cute. She's like, let me know when you get home. See, I feel like a lot of people care. A lot of people love me. And, and it's not because, like, oh... We feel bad for you. I feel like you motherfuckers are there for me because you guys fuck with me. I don't think, I don't, at the beginning when I first got my injury, I felt like, oh, people are just going to like me because, you know, because I'm, I'm disabled or whatever. They're going to feel sorry for me. But it's not even like that. Anyways, this is motherfucking San Antonio. I posted on Snapchat like, where the fuck do you think I should go for the produce? And some people told me, what the fuck was it called? something boys anyways so the reason i haven't been posting i don't know i think it me están embrujando algo i don't know it, it's been a lot but one of the main reasons is because i'm really worried about my mom oh chico boys i'm really worried about my mom i want my mom to come and live with us right but she has she's still raising my sister and my brother so what do I do? Scooby motherfucking doo doo. Like it's like two other people. And you guys know that when you're married and then with the attitudes and all that and I don't want all that, but I do want my mama. Porque you never know how long you have your mama. So I understand my brother, but then my sister, what she's like fucking twenty years old. And the way she been acting, mm mm mm. So she brought the girl from Arizona, right? And okay like a week before she told my mom oh i'm gay and i was like okay it's cool but then she didn't she all of a sudden she told her i'm gonna go with the girl to a hotel and if it was the other way if it was she was sleeping with a boy in a hotel it would have been like world war three but since it's like not a boy anyways it's a whole thing so we decided to go to this place and let me tell you una chula de produce Una chula de fruta. It's like so fresh and so clean. Um, the los tomates, the vibes. It was giving me Mexican Chicano vibes, and I like that they had like everything in season. You guys know that I'm all about my produce. That's why I don't like to fucking order stuff on fucking Uber Eats y que la chingada. Just today, because I really needed some like chicken or whatever. So I didn't want Mandy to go because she needed to do una, a, ¿cómo se llama? Una aplicación, una beca, a scholarship. She was gonna apply for a scholarship. So I told her, don't worry, I'll order it. I have like a fucking coupon or whatever. The fucking chicken, one of it was pink and the other one was kind of gray. Like, why do I want a gray as, you know? And you pay for it. I don't know if you could like demandarlos or have a whole thing. But still, that, that's why I like going and smelling the tomatoes butthole myself. Because I want to be there and I want to smell the air. And I love finding new places like this. So if you guys live in San Antonio, go, play, go check this place out. I don't know the history behind it. I don't know like if it's like family owned or if it's some owned from some weird ass white guy. Pero yo nomas digo que está chingón. Chile. I want 
Do you see the corn? No, I like that. No, look at the corn. It's so big. Over. I want one. It's crazy big. You think it's fresh? No. Why it's so big? It's processed. Maybe it's natural. I love teaching all of these things to Sophia, like, you know, oh, this is a corn, this is this. And as you can see, my Sophia is so, like, dressed like se tapa. Anyway, we're in motherfucking San Antonio. I'm a real bitches of the motherfucking world. We're already waiting for me. This bitch, that bitch, the other bitch, all of us bitches. And fuck all them bitches in the back, all the way in the motherfucking back. Wait, 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 let me do that again. Say it louder for the bitches in the back, all the bitches in the back. All the fucking puta sucias in the way back. So let me talk about this right here. This arrangement, I put it out in the in the door in our house. Yes, in our house um, for Halloween. And I thought it was so pretty. And what she told me is that she did it with the quickitiness. And I was like, what? You did that fast? That's gorgeous. So this is my tia Carmen, my primo. They're here from Dallas, and they didn't even tell me that they were gonna go to San Antonio to go see me. When I saw them, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, it's having my back. What up, you check that Melina? What up, Narcito, motherfuckers? Woo! Let's be Latas, but I'm California, cabrones. So, baby, hey, congratulations on your YouTube plaque. I see you doing big things, holding it down for the Mexican women. Come on. I'm here with my cousin, Primo Tranquilino J. And he always tells me that all the Californians need to get out of Texas, including me. Get out of Texas, get out of Texas. Yeah, he says he's tired of our asses. He wants me to take all the Californians with me. Vamos a la chingada. So we're getting tech, uh, Dallas crowded. Too crowded. Too crowded. It's becoming LA. Yeah, and he's tired of that shit. He wants tech, Dallas to be regular how it was. So let's go, motherfuckers. Let's get the fuck out of here. They don't want us here no more. Leave, leave. Let go. Woo! Thank you. God, here's the don't you ever forget. I say shut the seat down. Every time I ride, I got the hustle and ambition. You can see it in my eyes. Don't you know, feel want to. So I estábamos en el chisme. I mean, I didn't have a big ass line like last time. I think because I wasn't active as I was. And I wasn't like toda triste. Like, oh, chingas madre. I was, you know me. I'd be chopping it up like 30 minutes with each person. Talking about each person. Girl on the pink? I don't know. I know she's like a singer or whatever. But she wanted to cut line, huh, Gordo? Huh? The girl, remember in San Antonio, she wanted to cut line? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she wanted to cut line. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But anyways, my cousin Jay, it's something funny about him is that he promised my... Oh, look at that girl. That girl right there, the thickness right there. She, um, she went last time to the meet and greet, and she was a little girl. And I forgot to ask for a picture. Cause she was literally a little girl and then she came back as a woman like how the fuck does that happen this bitch right here was cool as fuck i'm i'm telling you i don't even care that i don't have a million people what i care is that i'm a real ass bitches of the world this girl told me right here that i should start taking some medication does she does not look sick right she looks healthy as fuck doesn't she look sexy as fuck she told me i should start taking some medications called lyrica or whatever y ahí para atrás para el pinche chisme. Anyways, ahí andábamos en San Antonio. Actually, I didn't even know what happened to me that morning. But I couldn't get up. I had to go in my wheelchair. Metatarsal. Mm -hmm. I broke one of my damn bones. And all my bitches of the world were there. Smiling at me. And they waited for me. And they didn't even trip about it. No, no me la hicieron de pedo. I was, this, is, this is my favorite part of when I do meet and greets. Me, like, sitting right there or standing right there, como yo pueda, chopping it up with you guys, telling my stories like I do in my videos. Just, that's what life is about. Because we all have our little story. Y pues a mí me gusta. Next time I do a meet and greet, I'm going to post that shit right away and not fucking be stupid. Because 
I lost a lot of the clips. This lady right here says she's my oldest fan, but she do not look old as at all. I wish I looked like her right now. This is a sexy ass couple of the world. This girl right here, she left. She said she left her kids with the suegra to come and see me. I really do hope to. Oh, shout out to my boy right here. Thank you for letting me use your. Sp okay, I hope you enjoyed the video because I thought Texas was really fun. Texas is the she's knees. No, for real, Texas. That looks. Ooh, hoo, hoo. but it's in that movie. And then you know what I enjoy the most? I enjoy most working with my family. Like Sophia puts on her apron and starts selling and Mandy is all distracted. Mandy had to leave a little sooner because of school. And then little Mario ate all the earth. But you know what? That's what I want to build. Something that the family, you know, could have treasure. treasure and be like, you know what? When I was little, me and my mom used to do this and used to do that. And guess what? We're trying to have another baby. I don't know if it's going to be or not going to be. I'm not even going to say nothing. But imagine we have another baby. Oh. So exciting. I'm so excited. I got your bitch. Mama. And the whole one ride it. Woo woo. You can't take the hood out of me. <laughs> so anyways, shout out to all my bird gang, 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 gang. Peace and love. Love. love.